And it's my pleasure to introduce to you the next police commissioner of the city of New York, Dermot Shea. The new police commissioner will lead the department at an inflection point. Some of the record low violent crime has started to creep back up, and there are indications officer morale may be suffering following anti-police vandalism and protests. Officer suicides are also on the rise. Dermot Shea acknowledged all those things, but says the course plotted by his retiring predecessor, Jimmy O'Neill, is the right one. We really have a solid foundation. Uh, for neighborhood policing in this city. We're connecting to communities, I think, like never before. Um, but that work uh, is ongoing, and it's got to it's gotta be broadened and deepened. A potential game changer affecting every aspect of policing in the city is a large criminal justice reform package passed by state lawmakers set to be implemented at the beginning of the year. It will mean fewer alleged offenders automatically go to jail. That, combined with the anti-police sentiment in certain communities, has retired police sergeant and John Jay College professor Joseph Jackalone thinking Shea's first year could be one of necessary change. I don't know if it's going to be a stay of the course higher. I, I, I think that there's some headwinds that the NYPD is going to be facing with all the new criminal justice reform. In talking about the road ahead, O'Neill expressed confidence in Shea and the department to handle what comes next. We'll move forward. Uh, we'll do our best to deal with them and, and make sure that we continue to keep the city safe. Mayor de Blasio also facing questions tonight about why he didn't search for a more diverse candidate. He explained that he's been keeping his eye on Shea for almost six years now and really has always admired him as a leader and was kind of thinking this move might come one day. He stressed that there are more diverse and more female candidates coming up through the lower and middle ranks of the department starting to filter into the leadership. He's promising a much more, depart a much more diverse department leadership in the years to come. Live in the newsroom, Henry Rossoff, Pixel. 11 news.